Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to another video. This is the Football Connect. I'm your host Sam and I have some few games to talk about here as we have some exciting games in the Premier League looking at the top of the league as well as the relegation zone. So we're going to cover the most important games that we should be looking forward to and the other games that are just going to come. The first one, the big one, Manchester United are going to Chelsea in one of the games that I think is going to be exciting to watch. The reason why it's really going to be exciting is because of what has been going on between the two teams. Manchester United have really not been at their best. As well as Chelsea have not really given something for people to smile about. But that's why it's an exciting game. Because it has the decision to decide who is actually at a better level between the two of the teams. I'm not really sure how the other teams performed. Let me know in the comment section if you do. But one thing I know is that everyone is excited because we get to see how they are working on their things. Remember, I told you a few weeks ago that Manchester is Chelsea are actually at a better stage than where Manchester United are. I know when you look at the points, it doesn't really measure up because Manchester United are on top of Chelsea. But when you look at it really deep inside, you can actually see that, oh, what needs to happen at Chelsea is to sign a few players who maybe are mature enough to carry the team, who are better enough to do better with the team. But at United, it's like you have to change the whole entire team because that team is corrupt. The players don't want to fight for the manager. They fight when they want to, when they fight when they feel like they need to. They don't want to do it every single time. So that's never a good thing for, for any team. And as well, the midfield is either it's too old or too young for United, which is very weird to say because, of course, as much as Kobe, Kobe Mano has been one of the best players I've seen this, this whole entire time, he is struggling to carry that midfield alone. Or maybe they put Casemiro Eriksen and it's very too old and there are no legs in between those players and it's easy for teams to pass them through and go cause chaos wherever they go. So that's why I said that it, they need more work on United more than actually it is a Chelsea because Chelsea, they've got some good players. Moises Caicedo, Enzo Fernandes, even Cole Palmer, all those ones, they are amazing. But one player that I should be looking at this one, in fact, there are two players. One from United, which is Kobe Mayano, he could be one of the most important players in this game if they are going to get something out of this game. And as well at Chelsea, Cole Palmer, he could play a vital role in terms of helping the team to actually create something meaningful if they want to win the game, to be honest, at the end of the day. So it's going to be an exciting game to look at it. It's going to really demand so much. It's going to challenge them players. And I'm hoping to see where exactly they are. I think this is the best thing for teams to measure themselves to see where they are. Because, for example, now we know that Chelsea have passed the, passed the 40 point mark. So it means they are safe for the next season. And United, they are working on where they are. So there is some safety on both of the teams. So they can work on each other in terms of going forward, in terms of seeing what is happening. So it's going to be exciting. So this is the big game that I'm excited over. Chelsea are going to be hosting Manchester United. Now, why did I make this big game the last game that I talk about? Chelsea hosting Manchester United. Why? Why did I? Because it's full of surprises. You never know what happens. You can't really guess it. You can't really predict it. But you are always excited over it. So what am I expecting over this game? Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting that there is a win. I'm expecting that there is a defeat for somebody. In my happy, in my expectation is United loses. The reason why they want them to lose, you know, their confidence, if it's shaken a bit, it gives a, an upper hand to Liverpool when we go to Old Trafford on Sunday. <laughs> but also Chelsea are not really that team that gives you that belief that they can offer something exciting. They have not really been performing so well that we can believe that they have something to prove. Or something to really excite the world with. So there is, you know, we find that myself on the balance. I find myself on the balance, not knowing exactly what to call of these games, not knowing exactly how to approach this game. But I'm still excited over what happens over it. Chelsea have the corner where has Connor Gallagher, who has been playing well in the midfield. In fact, I have to say, one of the best midfielders of of Chelsea this season. They have a co. Oh, they also have a Cole Palmer, one of the best young stars in this season. One who has proven that he has something exciting to offer. He has really been amazing the way he has been performing. So there could be, there should be an element of excitement over this one. But I'm not really sure, you know. 
it's it's it's, it's scary it's really really scary uh, so but anyway we'll see how that one goes but do me a favor click the like button united on the other hand they are a hot and cold situation and i know in this situation they might have to put that biggest team they need to put the best team in this that can the best approach into this game that can put so much pressure over to see how far they can in a way to prepare for the liverpool game that's all i can say but as well as you never know liverpool game is like a derby so there is always going to be that excitement over how the approach of the game will be like but what is my prediction over this game i think my prediction is going to be chelsea 2 united 1 because the reason why i'm saying this a few weeks ago i came up with something or it was a few days back i was saying something that maybe people might disagree with that the problem that chelsea has it's easier to go to fix than the problem manchester united have i'm looking at how the two times are set up the reason why i came up with that idea is because to only fix Chelsea, you need to find the right players that fits in. You need at least a few or two or three signings to make the team so strong because they already have a way to start building. And it seems like Mauricio Pochettino is trying to create a game plan in terms of approach over how they're going to go with the game. But to fix United, it's going to need the whole wardrobe to be cleaned out and start to set up. The clothes that has to be cleaned out. So the fact that he, the whole entire closet has to be fixed out, I think that just is an element that it, that gives it so much stretch than what people have to give in the game. So it is my belief that Chelsea can still do this. They've been one of the teams that has caused chaos to Man City, so they can do this. But can they? That's the question that we have to ask. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Click the like button. Subscribe to the Connect. The best way you find support the football Connect. I'm really excited over the games. I've given my predictions over all the games that have been played. And I can't wait to see what happens. So, click the like button. Subscribe to Connect. There is some... I'm going to give you an update over what to, what to expect in the coming weeks. So, after the Sunday game, that's where I'm going to do the video over the title race i'm gonna talk about the title race what am i expecting what's gonna happen how the title race will go on like and who's actually in my case who i actually think will win the title so expect that video is coming exactly after the united game or maybe on monday one of those on next week also we're gonna have a video where we're gonna be talking about how i gonna survive in the relegation battle that's something that I'm working on as well. So I hope you're excited. I'm working on looking at it. That's why I was able to give you so much because I've been looking at the relegation battle, how it's been moving on. Like it's all exciting to be honest. So be ready for that one. But there is an important announcement that I have to put out. So this is actually more lead to the Facebook community of the Football Connect, as well as you know, some people who are also on YouTube as well as Facebook. So if you're watching this attention attention so we are on our road to 100k right now we're at 90k on on, on a tfc for youtube tfc uh, facebook channel so in terms of us celebrating the 100k milestone we are reaching we are going to be launching a fan content reaction show it's going to be starting as soon as we reach the 100k building up to the last of the you know title race that is left so what are we, what is going to be happening in this one so many fans of you guys are going to be invited into the connect through so the links that i'll be sharing you'll be live on this thing and you'll give your thoughts over the title race or whatever that is happening the fixtures that will be coming and what you're expecting of the fixtures so it's something that all of us can join in it's something that you guys can join in and i'm really really excited over how this could be a change to tfc facebook and i hope you guys can be with us and if i find the best people who are doing so well there will be a live stream which will be launched very very soon on our youtube channel which is tfc youtube so i'll be getting some of you guys that i'll have your contacts of course i'm going to create a group of streamers which i'll have your your contact every single time whenever i'm inviting you in this we will be having a conversation over the reaction over what over live streams so so be ready for it 
find at least something that gives good sound. That's where I can testify that if you have something to prove as well as what's going to be happening. So be ready for this. This is very important because you never know. You might start building your own <laughs> YouTube career or your own terms or your own live streams or whatever you do on the football corner. So I hope you're excited over this. I know I am and I hope you guys are interested. If you're interested in this, Start hitting me up, make, it, make a 30 second video, letting me know how you understand your football, which team you support and whatever you do. Just do that, put it either on our YouTube uh, YouTube message or there will be a link that I will put out for our, for or in fact, when you reach me, reach out to me on my on our YouTube channel, I'll put a link in terms of you joining into the group. In the group, that's when you send a video to see how you're good at it. Then we'll start inviting people into the live stream. It's going to be exciting. It is the 100K celebration. So I hope you're excited over it. Join us. It's going to be something that is going to be amazing. So that's the announcement that I have for you from the Football Connect community. By the way, if you're always interested, the Football Connect is not only one person, especially how we do it on Facebook. There is a Liverpool fan, me. There is a United fan, you know. So whenever you see some of our posts and sometimes we're attacking each other, that's how we are. It's an open community. We are excited. I'm a Liverpool fan, but doesn't mean that the Football Connect is a Liverpool fan. The Football Connect, it's a, it's a company on its own. It does whatever it has to. So you guys also can just come. Rivals are excited. Are accepted. You guys come in and show me what you're capable of doing. It's gonna be exciting. Click the like button subscribe to connect and if you're watching this on this one click the link as well in the description go join us on our youtube channel like i'm saying this is gonna be something big i'm actually gonna create a team of player people that i work with on the connect some people are actually gonna find up and we start working for life i'm gonna be helping people from these people so take this as serious as you can don't come make main jokes over this live stream this could be something that is becomes even more huge for you thank you very much for watching i've been your host sam i'm out we'll see you on the other side peace subscribe to the football connect we out peace